uh, steak on winch uh, delivered, came fast. Uh, we're going to unbox it, install it. Sorry, we got instructions. And this is the 13,000 pound wrench. All right, we've got a ground cable. Plug-in controller. Hook. And all the bolts and accessories. Feels pretty sturdy. All right, controller comes with two wireless. Uh, two wireless remotes. That's nice. That's nice. Fancy, fancy. On the bracket. And the winch itself. Now, does it come standard with uh, full synthetic ropes? It does. Okay. It's got an 80 foot full synthetic rope. Pull it up. <laughs> So you always want to test the wrench, or anytime you're doing electronics, before you mount it. Just to make sure you don't. It uh, works before you put all the hard labor in there, and then it doesn't work. So I'm going to run the wires, test this. Kyle is going to put the winch mount bracket on there for the front. explanatory red to red black to whatever color is not on your wench or if you got a seal there's a black seal in here that shows you yellow yellow all right and then we just got to hook up the ground wire right here they're all labeled yep all right guys so you always want to test out the winch before you do the full install in other words if there was something wrong with it you're pretty much wasting all your time because you're gonna have to take it back and set it back in this case the winch works perfectly so here it is going up here it is going in so that assures us right there that we're all set to do the install. Okay guys, we tested out the winch. Everything looks good, worked flawlessly. We're gonna go ahead and clip the, clip the zip tie here. Be careful, make sure you do not ding the rope. All right, so I've got the zip tie out. We're gonna go ahead and pull this piece, feed it through here. Somehow, there we go. <laughs> when I first unbox this, all these little plastic uh, ends here will need to be tightened. And then if your wires are a little tight, you can actually position this and move this around so it can make them a little looser too. This is pretty nice. They're like self-tapping or self-tightening little nuts. These go up under the winch so it grabs the hold of the plate. Okay, I see it. Oh, they go on top. Okay. Wait, can you see them? Yeah, okay. You might want to record that. Okay, so these are actually super easy. I already put them in there but the little square bolt fit in here and the hole from under here. You use a screwdriver and you can kind of shimmy around rather than if it's off center, the bolt won't actually work. So if it's off, like it'll just spin and it won't move. But oh, hey, look at that, I actually got it good on the first time. All right, this could be the fun part, but if you have multiple socket extensions, you can actually reach up in there a lot easier. Okay, so before you tighten all these up, you're gonna wanna leave them in loose. That way you can kind of adjust uh, to go ahead and get them in there and threaded. Okay, get them all pretty tight. 
but not quite tight. Now we can do a full tighten. Okay, so we're running the two wires, the big ground and the big positive wire, the red and the black. We're feeding it through this portion right back here below the radiator. We're funneling it through here and then we're running it up right below the air intake and up and around. And so far we are right here. For the body right so here. So we're gonna run the wires underneath the frame here somehow and then it'll run all the way down and around and then basically go under and through this piece right here and then wrap back around the battery and again guys make sure that you don't run the wires through any moving parts or any of the suspension because it will destroy it Okay, so now we got the power and we got the negative all connected. So now we got to find a spot for this little uh, control box ground. So our next step here is to install this control box ground. So it's always good to sand the area. Make sure you have good metal to metal surface to surface contact when installing a ground. All right. Can you see in there? Okay, guys, so we're now we're attaching that. Here, let me do it. One, it's probably better if I just do it. I gotta put it through the hole. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ready? Okay, guys, so we got everything done, the install, the wiring, everything's complete. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the hook on. And then we're gonna go out in the street and test it.